All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do part eight, the linkage peg, and you'll actually use the same or a similar technique to do the axle peg as well. But let's start with this one first. So you can see that from the drawing, the diameter, that's the symbol for the diameter. The diameter of this part of the linkage peg is 0 0.0625. <clears throat> The height from the bottom up to this point is 0.25 and the height from the bottom up to the crown of the top of the peg is 0.325. So what we're going to do is just draw half of the peg and then revolve it. So let's get started. So always you want to open up a new, you want to use a part drawing. For all of these parts and really it's part file all right so like always we're going to do a 2d sketch when you decide what plane you're going to draw in it's a good idea to look at how the part is oriented on the whole assembly so we're doing the linkage peg so the linkage peg we're drawing it, we're going to draw, this is the linkage peg, and we're going to draw half of it and revolve it. So since we're going to draw half of it, we probably want to use the top view because that's going to, in the inventor world, the Autodesk inventor world, it's going to set it in the right position so that when we put it in the assembly, it's going to be automatically in the right plane, and then we just move it into the assembly. So let's go back down here and then let's go to our drawing and we'll choose top, the top view. And we can tell that by looking at the cube, top, front, right side. So we'll choose the top view. And remember, you have to roll the world over because the coordinate system of Inventor puts it on its side. So now top is reading top so we're good to go so first we're going to use a line we're just going to use the line and an arc to do this whole thing so always start at zero zero go straight up and from the drawing you can see that that overall height that we want to go is 0 0.325 so back here go straight up key in 0.325 now um, it's shown really small. No worries. Just use your roller wheel. Zoom in. And right click and say OK. So now you've got the, your center line. You'll also use this line as your uh, rotation axis when you revolve. So next, we're going to draw from here up to there and out to here. So we're just drawing half of it. So since diameter is the full distance from here over to here, we're going to take this number and cut it in half. So 0 0.0625. So we'll take a line. We'll go to 0, 0, and we'll go straight out 0 0.0625, and we'll divide it by 2. And the program will do the math for you. So now we have that. So now we're going to go up, and from the drawing, we're going to go up. 0.25. So we'll go straight up. 0.25. Okay. Now we're just going to go out. We're drawing. We're drawing this line. Okay. And we know that here we have a spherical radius. So the radius of this circle is 0.1562. But for this technique we're just going to draw straight out um, a line at no distance just big enough to do what we needed to do so we'll just come out to there okay and then right click and okay so now we'll use another line and we'll come right here and just do a line straight down any distance Right click and OK. Any distance out here doesn't matter because now we're going to dimension it. 
and we're going to use the spherical radius to dimension it. So it's a radius now, so that's our actual distance that we're going to use there. So 0.1562, so we'll dimension from here to there, 0.1562. enter that. So now what you've created here is an intersection where you're going to start your arc. The other place you're going to start your arc is here. Okay. But I like to go in and use trim to just clean up my intersection. So trim, highlight here, highlight here. Now I have a good corner for that. Right click OK. Then I'll go up here to, and get an arc. I want to make sure I'm using a three point arc. OK. So three point. Click here. Click the other end of the arc. So it's over there at our intersection that we created. And then just move this to about like somewhere or it's about what you want it to be. OK. So it said our spherical radius is 0.1562, so we'll use that here as well. So 0.1562. Do that. We got that spherical radius, if you remember, from right here. Okay. So now we have that done. We can right-click and say OK. But if you look here, it looks like this goes up and then starts going back down. So there's going to be, if we just revolve it like that, there's going to be a little divot there. So what I like to do on this part is just come in here, click there, double click it. It'll let you um, edit that dimension. So if you put in 0.18, I think I use 0.185, and click enter. And it makes it, it gets rid of that. Now the high point is occurring pretty much where you get right there. You can even get it a little more perfect. Double click, maybe 0.19. So now you can see that when it reaches its arc, and it's still a little bit off, but not terrible. 0.195. Now we're there. Yep, now we're there. Now see it reaches its high point right when it gets to the center line. So we'll go with that. So now you've got your general shape. Um, you're ready to finish your sketch. And come over here to revolve. It's asking you for your profile. What profile do you want to use? Go over here and highlight it. And then you have to tell it, hey, I'm about to tell you where my axis is going to be. So click this button or select axis if you're on a newer version. And then click the center line that we drew through the middle, the first line that we drew. And it'll revolve and give you your uh, linkage peg. Click OK. And now you have your linkage peg. Don't forget to save it. File, save as, linkage peg. And you're good to go.